čo? Tvoj to pán
the next speaker is Mr. Hamid Meyer, who is the president of the Afghan uh, groups in uh, America. Is Mr. Meyer. I think we all owe uh, many thanks to the Afghan people because they've been fighting for all of us and they pay the highest price. So please listen to this man. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Afghan community in America, we are here to participate in justice, not only for Afghanistan, to fight for the, all those captive nations or subjugated nations. And finally, maybe they like me on the Congress in Washington. I spoke in front of everybody for your material support, for your support, as Afghanistan will be the first country in the world to break the chain of the communism and all the nation to be free. The Soviet draw from... Can I say? Okay, Bob. Sure. <coughs> All right, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, Bob, what's, uh, what happened here today? Uh, well, the idea was it was organized by the Independent Czechoslovak Cultural Center. It's this uh, uh, benevolent uh, voluntary association we've had here for X years. And uh, it's the International Day of Human Rights. So we decided to invite different ethnic groups who uh, have the same problem as we have and to share because you know it's not just one for group it's uh, we think all these countries that are involved should be here so they came we expected many more people there were no medias were notified and so on but uh, you saw as you saw i mean uh, but i think it was good enough at least we're in touch and no matter what happens next uh, these organizations who were here today will uh, continue to cooperate. But the message was freedom cannot be separated by borders, by faith. Each individual human being has rights and they are guaranteed by nature and that's what we came here to proclaim or uh, try to show solidarity with all these countries, you know, shout, uh, fighting for uh, freedom. That's about it, you know, it was the main motivation here. Like I said, we expected many more people, but... Uh... Hold on just a second. Okay. Bob, do you think the message from here is getting back to Czechoslovakia? Uh, it will be very in touch with different independent groups, opposition groups. Uh, we informed them yesterday. And uh, there was supposed to be Radio Free Europe and some other, but uh, nobody showed up. So I'll call back to Prague and... Uh, I was asked to do some interview via phone, some short one to give a report on this. So it will get there. And people taped it, so we get in the tapes later on, the videotapes. And I'm sure the different organizations that were here, they will make sure that uh, something gets uh, to their countries too. Mm -hmm. do you, but overall, do you think that the support that you're showing in America, do the people in Czechoslovakia know? Well. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're in touch with them, so we informed them. But so far, there hasn't been enough, I think, from the American government because uh, apparently the business community uh, they made some big, uh, they signed some big contracts last year in connection with the withdrawal of the Soviet troops, so-called withdrawal from uh, Afghanistan. And I think the American businessmen with Mr. Bush in in, uh, in charge here, that they, they saw that they signed with someone and now would they like to keep uh, making business with those people without realizing that if they helped us more, they could do much more business with really free countries and not just with some criminal bastards, you know. I think it's a shame that the United States government is even discussing with these regimes that have been suppressing everybody for such a long time. They, I really think it's disgusting that they are willing to talk to murderers and make deals with them instead of helping first the people to be free and then get whatever they want, you know, but on, a, on equal basis, one to one. 
So uh, I don't think there has been enough really of the support voiced. You know. There's a lot of interest on TV and so on, but as far as the government and the Senate and Congress, they haven't done that much yet. Let's see, maybe they just don't want to interfere at this stage, but uh, it's a little bit disappointing.